Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm going to show you how to tighten up your faucet handle and the faucet itself if needed. So uh, the first thing you need to do is put the handle downward and then there's going to be a little cap so you'll need something like a Swiss Army knife or a small screwdriver and right in the back of the handle you'll find this tiny little cap and you're just going to very carefully pop it out. So be careful not to cut yourself and uh, this is what it looks like. It's just this tiny little cap and so it's covering an access point for uh, Allen and I believe it was a 564 inch. It was uh, not written on there. So you're gonna go ahead and put the Allen through the back of the handle, and right here you can usually just tighten it up. And so if that's your problem, it's as simple as tightening that up. Uh, in our case, it's a little wobbly on the inside. So I went ahead, uh, you can see it's the whole fixture that's wobbling. I went ahead under here and uh, uh, removed that, al that Allen stop. So. It's just a small set screw. You don't have to take it out all the way. Just loosen it out until it gets to the point where you can just pull the handle off. And so you can leave the screw inside uh, the area here. You don't want to take it out all the way. And so as you can see, this thing is still wobbling. So the real way to fix that is underneath the sink where it mounts, there is a small uh, nut here that you have to drive up and it's kind of tricky because you got to twist it and make sure the head of your faucet doesn't twist as well. Now here's what you do not do. Here's a 21 millimeter socket. If you put it on here trying to tighten that then what it's going to actually do is make it really hard to turn the faucet on and off. And so here's a temporary fix if none of these things are working and it's still jiggling around in there. You can get a, a zip tie, cable tie, and we're gonna just stick it in there between the base. This is kind of a, a very simple fix. Uh, we're just gonna wedge it in there so that it's nice and tight and keeps that thing from uh, rattling around. And then we'll just come in with a nice pair of uh, pliers. Let me show you here again so you can see we've just wedged it between that brass uh, area there and the housing then just come in with some uh, cutters and cut it off so that's a temporary fix not the hundred percent right way to do it I'm just showing you another way and you can see now uh, it's nice and firm in there and it does not jiggle so you can go ahead and put the handle back on and just line it up and uh, tighten up your set screw again now if you did mess it up like I did you can take off this and what I had to do is it's a plastic uh, nut and the problem is it's stripped on me so I couldn't back it off so I had to literally chip out pieces until uh, it became loose again it became so hard to turn the handle on and off uh, because that was so tight so that's what will happen if you tighten that up okay so I, I do need to get a new screw or a new nut for it a new plastic nut but in the meantime uh, you can just put it back on it goes flat onto that little bar so just make sure that it's lined up and then tighten it uh, back down so as you saw there's kind of a flat ledge that we want and uh, we'll go ahead and put our little cap back in, in the back here and then uh, you should be able to test it so we're gonna go ahead and put it up and you can see it does not jiggle anymore it's nice and firm still a little too firm I'm gonna have to adjust that with a new plastic nut when I buy one but you can you want to test the full range of motion make sure it goes all the way down for cold and then all the way up for hot make sure that it ends where it should and doesn't spin all the way around. So hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Put it in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it and uh, this should tighten up your handle. Thanks guys.